friends. Happy Saturday. Hi V. Hi Sam. Twitch can rearrange everything they want, but why don't they give us an option to host a channel from that channel? I know I only just figured out how to do it the other day on your stream. Because <laughs> I had no idea how to do it. Um, but welcome. Happy Saturday. It's still morning here right now. Um, but I'm excited to start this one. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, this one is number 13. I think it's 13 um, in the Nancy Drew series. And we are on Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. This one's a good one. I enjoy this one. Welcome to my latest case, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. So let's to jump start, right choose in. Choose junior or senior detective. If Ooh. you're new to adventure games or need some help, all right, click here's on the tutorial. decision. Here's the decision. Do we go junior or do we go senior? I'm tempted on this one to choose senior. Yeah, let's do it. Dear Hannah, why not? Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train Is bound for who knows where. The only person who knows where we're going is Lori Gerard. That's the young woman who invited I feel like it everyone. could be louder. I Actually, did turn it down. she didn't really invite me. She invited Frank and Joe Hardy, and they invited me. And I've always wanted to join forces with the Hardy boys. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be another one of Lori's silly attempts to grab publicity. Some people can be a little too rich and a little too famous for their own good. <laughs> Lori Wish loves me luck. the limelight. Love Nancy. That's a lot of well, alliteration. Well, people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray. I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do second. some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. Ghost and Charlena Chasers. Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. Your characters just seem so real. And all that stuff you know about the Old West, all you so are just awkward. awesome. And Tino Balducci. Only the most famous police detective in the country. Anything? And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend, Natalie? Nancy. Nancy Drew? The Whatever. Other amateur detective. All right. Not even just I'll the other I'll bet you're detective. wondering where we're going. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because, see, one day in 1903, his train, this train, right was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, <laughs> which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was on <laughs> board, so and he was dead. As for Jake Hurley, he had disappeared from the face of the earth. Oh, and two more things. Before he disappeared, Jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world. And the train he owned, this train, his wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields. It was rumored to be haunted. Oh. Oh my goodness! What She's a beginning! Oh my gosh! What in the world? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. Uh. It's okay. Everybody, just stay calm. No Got need it. to panic. I'll get to the bottom of this. Well, Nancy, you're up on all that well. social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? All right. If I don't seem oh concerned, my goodness. it's because I'm not. Lori Gerard is a young woman whose only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and okay. habitually uses her father's <laughs> I just wanted to hear the whole story before we we dive into anything and get distracted. <laughs> Cuz I will get distracted. This was the one you started on your own and never finished. I realize Sam is nothing without Nicole when it comes to Nance. Oh, <laughs> this one's a good one. Um, so I hope you're excited to see how it does finish. 
Um, this is not one of your favorite favorites, but it does give you a cozy feeling. I really like this one. I don't know if it's one of my favorite favorites. It's definitely up there. Um, cause I, I like how it's kind of different than a lot of the other ones because of the fact that we're on a train. Um, I always thought that was kind of cool. You do love the vibe for sure. Hashtag miss these hearties you played Midnight in Salem yet? I can't remember. Yes, I have. <laughs> I did play Midnight in Salem. I actually played it right after I started this series. So I did Secrets Can Kill and then I did Midnight in Salem, um, which I did stream it too. <laughs> it was very frustrating. <laughs> very frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we are talking to Miss Charlena Purcell. Is that this lady? Charlena Purcell. Is she the one who was on the book in Shadow Ranch? Is that the same person? You think her disappearing is some publicity stunt? How well do you know her? So you think her disappearing like that, that is noise. just some kind of publicity stunt? I just think she couldn't resist the showing Midnight off Salem Joe Hardy literally gave you anxiety with how he would what not stop fidgeting. Oh my god, Nancy I think Drew. I remember that. You yeah. And I actually met. <laughs> so I yeah. Him not too long ago when I was at Shadow It Ranch. sort of fits his personality. You but you just wanted Valentine. to grab his shoulders and oh, hold him still. Nancy I know. Drew. I do remember that. The graphics were actually pretty good in that game for what they did but yeah the fidgeting it yeah <laughs> that that game definitely had its own vibe too you don't remember me do you you don't remember me do you no <laughs> no what else do you know about jay curly have you ever met Lori's other guests oh i don't care about what else do you know yet. about jay curly <laughs> Nancy, come here. Uh, <laughs> Way to be creepy about it. All right, well, let's go over there. Hey, Nance. Where have you two been? I followed Tino Balducci. And I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I could hear all Hi, these Nina. weird noises coming from inside. Hmm. Any idea what he was doing? I was just about to go in, but the next thing I know, Joe's got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here, babbling about how you Balducci's can't come up our my guy. Lap right now. I'm sorry. He found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. What did he do? He picked up something on the floor. Okay. Did you see what it was? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior, so just go back to the playground and stay out of the way. <laughs> in case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting a lot of respect around here. Aww. Can't we at least tell Balducci that we do Poor stuff Hardy attack? boys. You know the rules. Not getting attack? respect. American teens against crime. We do a lot of undercover work for them. Wonder Cop's probably never even been undercover. <laughs> Joe, let it go. what Charlena have to say? She thinks Lori is faking this whole disappearance thing. She's not the only the one. How can you say that? You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. <laughs> Especially girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else True. they ever wanted. What about you, Nancy? What do you think? Ooh, what do we think? I don't know. It did seem kind of staged. Um, so I'm going to agree with Frank. I kind of agree with Frank. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> got to be kidding. Um, do you think maybe one of Lori's other guests is in on her disappearance? It's certainly possible. From the way she talked, it, it didn't possible. sound like she knew any of them. Maybe that's what she wanted us to think. Or maybe that's what one of them wanted her to think. Uh, well, whether what? Lori disappeared by force or by choice, what we've got to do now is find her. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're not sure if you watched that one or if you just forgot, but when you rewatch that one, your anxiety is going to go nuts. Yeah, for sure. Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not that I know of. Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Maybe he knows something we don't. Good idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. Great. Catch you later. Great. Let's explore. Uh... 
pretty. Looks like oh. some kind of gemstone. Sure. This looks like it would be the dining car. It definitely does. It's got that look. What's this? Oh God. Nope. Didn't want to. Didn't want to talk to you again just yet. Hello. Engineer. Oh. What do you want? Hello. I'm one of the passengers, and I just thought you should know that Laurie Gerard has disappeared. So. Uh. <laughs> Did you know she was going to disappear? Hey, all I know is I take orders from Miss Gerard, okay? Right now my orders are to get this train But if she's not around stop. anymore, who are you going to take your orders from? Otherwise, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Right, but that's Lori what I'm may saying. Not even be on the train anymore. Look, Miss Gerard may not be a rocket scientist or anything, but even she knows better than to jump off a moving train. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse all right, me, I'll good point. Good point. Looks like some sort of steam valve. Do not open unless all pipes are connected. Okay. What pipes? What pipes? A square and a duck. A square and a duck. It looks like this thing opens up, but how? Okay. This door goes outside. Opening it now would not be a good idea. <laughs> All right. So that's that car, I guess. Is there anything over here? There is. Flippy fins. Freshly canned salmon. Fresh from a hand from the deep. Wholesome salmon. Fancy sakurai salmon. Oh, okay. I know what that's in reference to. I think. Um, alright. Lots of things to look at. It looks like there's something behind this painting, but I can't seem to move it. Okay. Sadie Crawford. I'm gonna write that down. Miss Sadie Crawford. How's everyone's Saturday going? Slash weekend. Anyone have any fun plans? Sadie Crawford. Okay. So that's that car. So far, so good. You're at work today. Not surprising. And just working on some stuffs. Well, that's good. I mean, work isn't fun, but... Is this Jake and his wife? Yes. From what I've read, Camille loved to sing and dance. Even well, in Hopefully death, work's going character. okay. Jake reportedly told people that after she died, he would sometimes see strange glowing lights outside the windows at night, bobbing gracefully alongside the train as if dancing with it. He said hmm. he found the sight very comforting. I suspect normal people would have found it terrifying. Oh, so she passed away before he did? Hmm. Okay. You're working on combining the stories you've been working on. That's really fun. Yes? It gets creative energy out. I used to like writing stories when I was little and then my imagination just went away. It just went away. Do you know what the story's gonna be about yet? What are you working on? I'm writing my next cleaning. book. I'm on a I deadline, have to do some so until this I write those too. two most wonderful of all three-letter words, the end. Don't Everywhere want to, I go, but... my laptop goes, and every chance I get, I write. You write, okay. 
What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille hmm. Voulet, who died about oh. a year after they were married. Well, that's sad. Where was he from? East Coast. Philadelphia, I think. His parents were British aristocrats. Sometime in the 1870s, he decided to seek his fortune out west, so he had this train custom-built so that he, and some years later his wife, could traverse the mountains and plains in relative comfort. That's kind of cool, to just have your own train. Oh, where did he meet Camille? Where did he meet Camille? I don't know Teen that. Drama the circumstances stuff, surrounding her passing okay. are a bit of a mystery too. I like that kind of stuff. All anyone knows for sure is that years it's after fun. Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi-precious stones, which he used to purchase mining supplies. Definitely good. He refused to say how he came too. by them, which of course led to speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein somewhere. Although to this day, its existence remains unsubstantiated, and its location. Quite unknown. Why do you think Lori invited you on this trip? No doubt because I'm such an authority on life in the Old West, and because I'm so good at using old information to unearth new information. My knack for research is... well, it's a gift. Oh, I hate research. I should get going. My publisher thanks you. I hate research, but I love solving puzzles. <laughs> but they're, they can be pretty different. An authority. Charlena, please. Anything else over here? I like how she's just sitting at the bar this whole time. Oh! It's nighttime! Hello. Another gemstone. Okay. That's a little creepy. Oh. Oh. Um, are we supposed to just make this? And we can rotate. Um, right. Right. Hmm. Well, almost. <laughs> what? It looks weird. Are these supposed to be switched? Uh, that's definitely the top. That's not the bottom. That's what it is. Okay. And then this needs to move like that. We're almost there. Um. Okay, this looks weird too. So this isn't... <clears throat> This isn't right. <laughs> it's just not right. Uh, okay, so let's just try switching those. Um, sort of. It doesn't look like there's a bulby thing this way, so I think these need to get switched too. Um, oh. uh, no, hmm, uh, how is that? These gotta be switched, I think. Yep, that, 
No. No, not quite. You love a writer with a personal bar. You were just yelling at me through the TV, by the way. For what? <laughs> For what? Do you see the answer? Um, I, uh, why is this so difficult? I feel like this shouldn't be difficult. Is that, oh. I thought I just moved those. Let's pick axe and lamp with Buell for <laughs> safekeeping. Yeah. <laughs> lead is the key. Or is it lead is the key? Left pickaxe. Oh, I get to take this. Okay. Buell for safekeeping. To open what's closed, lead or lead is the key. Okay. <laughs> this must have been the sleeping car. Can we not look at the sleeping car? A tale of two dolls. Oh, the dolls. Ill-tempered Edna could not get her way. She couldn't get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired, is what Alice said. I just want to go straight back to bed. Edna angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was one two-part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied, till Edna the Terrible finally gave up and cried. Oh! Okay, so... We have a couple... A couple more names. Okay. That's a sad story. Quiet. I need four numbers to unlock this, and there's what, 10,000 possible combinations? <sighs> Guessing could take you me. You feel long. that, Alice? Yeah. I also feel that. Can relate to Alice. Was there anything on this side? This is the other side, right? Yeah. Okay. Emergency break. I'm not gonna touch that. All right, so can we go through here? Is there nothing in any of these cars? Hey, come on over here. Oh. Hi, you're that oh. Nancy person. How you doing? John Gray. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. We've I've seen, seen his your TV, TV show. show. Then I don't have to explain what I'm doing. Yeah, you do. <laughs> right now I'm taking time-lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, analyzing these readings may give me a clue as to Lori's whereabouts. Uh... Do you really think that a moving train can be haunted? Sure. A train is basically sure. nothing but a living space on wheels. And just like a house or a hotel, its walls can capture and hold energy, however infinitesimal, whatever its source. You see, what to most people are ghosts are actually temporary distortions in local electromagnetic fields caused by the presence of residual psychic energy generated by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. And that's my working theory, at least. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, That's what? It's a little hard to swallow. It's all very scientific. But the fact I don't is, know Laura why. Is missing, and I, for one, am um, doing everything in my power to find her. I don't know why your message was deleted, Sam. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. She could be in serious trouble. They must have thought you said something not nice. Are we supposed to be gossiping, You don't Nancy? think Tino Balducci will be able to track her down? I doubt it. In fact, I kind of feel sorry for the guy. 
After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be a good cop anymore. He's got to be a great cop. So I have to perform under that kind of pressure. Hmm. Is Lori a friend of yours? First time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. Ghost I knew her hunting. by reputation, of course. Like everyone it was else about who ghost hunting? the tabloids. Oh. It doesn't appear that anyone aboard yeah, I don't this train is her friend. <laughs> Streamlabs is weird, apparently. Maybe she doesn't have any friends? Maybe she planned it that way. Fancy. You mean so we'd concentrate all our efforts on finding Jake Hurley? Possible, although she really doesn't strike me as being the planning type. What's your opinion of Charlena Purcell? Charlena Purcell writes romance novels. Romance of novels. I like romance novels, kind of. I'll let you get back like to Like the work. notebook. Take care. That was a good book. But... They're not awful things. What's this? Oh, we took it. The little book of samplers. Uh, do we need to read this? Needlepoint, sampler, exemplum. Band sampler. Spot sampler. Example of a spot sampler. Oh. Um, Alright, I'm not going to write these down yet because I'm sure we don't need to know them all. We probably just need certain ones, but at least we know this is here. Cool. What is this? This looks like some sort of game. Good morning, Bug. How's it going? Happy Saturday. Oh. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> I tried. All right, I'm ready this time. Why didn't I bells. do it? Are you supposed to do it like way earlier? Yeah, you are. What? Wipe out. What? No, we need to do this. Darn. I clicked it. Good. Here for a little while, heading out for the afternoon. Fun. Fun. Yeah, I have to do some cleaning later. Darn. What is this nonsense? This is like mini golf all over again. Oops. I'm clicking it, I swear. Alright, concentrate. How long is this? Did it. Oh, thank goodness. Wonder what's in here. Camp Town Races sing the song. Duda, Duda. That's what was in there. That what was in there. All right, we came from that way. Peanuts. Sickly Sarah caught a germ so new it made one of her pretty green eyes turn blue. Okay. Sickly Sarah. His machine sounds like somebody's sleeping. <laughs> We play the piano. What shall I play? I don't know how to play the piano. 
Don't do that, please. Those microphones I set up over there are very it's... sensitive. Just about took out my eardrums. Nancy. You can play that thing when I'm done. I'll let you know when that is, all right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Usually she would go, oops, sorry. Ruth Kensington. Who are you? It's locked. Okay, and I know we're not going to open that till way later in the game. Looks like Camille was teaching herself how to play the piano. I'm going to write that down since it doesn't look like we're taking that. So. Let's see. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, A, B, C, it's easy as one, two, three. You wonder if you still have these notes in your phone? I know, I wish I could use my phone. It would make this a lot easier. But that's okay. We're doing it the old school way. Um, oh shoot, I didn't leave myself enough room. All right, well, it's okay, we'll do this. F sharp. Or G flat. A flat and A sharp or B flat. Got it. You did teach me these when you tried to teach me keyboard, but that was Thomas Cena a very long time ago. And I never ended up learning. <laughs> I never ended up figuring it out. Thomasina O'Neill. I still wish I could play something though. It's like a blue ribbon. Okay. I wonder what's under here, and what the deal is with those weird-looking bolts. I need something that will turn the bolts. Oh. Bummer. Looks like some kind of sewing sampler. I wonder if there's a relationship between those symbols and those numbers. Well, probably. We've seen an eagle. All kinds of stuff. And a duck. Um, awful Ursula. Like, the sea witch. Oh, we have a Hello? cell phone! Nancy, hi, it's me. Hi, Bess. And me. Hey, George, what's up? What's Ooh, look at up? our fancy cell phone. You're the one who's on the train with a bunch of famous people. You tell us. <laughs> this is torture, Nancy. I'm dying of curiosity here. Bess, just calm down. Oh, like you're not just as curious as I am. 
She's the one who insisted we call you Nancy, only because you're driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brush stroke, she's like, where do you think she is now? How do you think the Hardy Boys are doing? Why do you think she hasn't called? What do you think Laurie Gerard is wearing? Oh, George, <laughs> that is so not true. I couldn't care less what Laurie Gerard is wearing. So come on, Nancy. <laughs> You're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where. So dish already, would ya? Bess, calm down. Look what you did. You got paint in my hair. Oh, sorry. Paint in the hair? You know, actually, That's that awful. looks kind of cool. Nice try, Bess. No, really. You're just saying that because you're afraid I'll bail and you'll wind up having to paint this dump all by yourself. George, I kid you not. You should seriously think about doing some major highlights <laughs> in that color. What color is it? Adobe beige. Nice try, Bess. Adobe What's beige. Going on, uh, Our hostess just has that. disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? I mean, the train went into a tunnel, everything went dark, and when the train came out of the tunnel, no lorry. She just disappeared. Publicity stunt. Yeah. My thoughts, exactly. Remember the time she was allegedly kidnapped from her Vegas hotel room? Yeah, the guy across the hall just happened to have a camera and got it all on tape. It made the evening news in practically every city mm. in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. Only it turns out she faked the whole thing. Of course, Interesting. she her ex-boyfriend faked it to get back at her. She thought she was really being kidnapped. Like anybody believes that. Sounds to me like somebody has been spending a lot of time reading the tabloids. George has. Very funny. <laughs> so what else is going on? Before she disappeared, Lori told us that the purpose of this train trip is to find out what happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? No one knows. He was married to a woman named Camille, but she died. And he eventually vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Blue Nevada. Moon Canyon. With no one on board but his dead engineer. Oh. Whoa, spooky. Have so spooky. Um, my first order of yeah. business is to find out what happened to Lori. What happened to Lori? Hmm. So first Hurley's wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies, then Lori vanishes. A pattern, maybe? Bess, do us all a favor and leave the detective work to Nancy. Well, nobody okay. better die. Has either of you been to Copper Gorge, Colorado? Never heard of the place. Why? That's where the train I'm on is headed. Apparently, Jake Hurley buried his wife Camille there after she died on the train. She died on the train? <laughs> Ew, creepy. Ew. Oh, goodness. Okay. Jake used to see strange lights at night bobbing alongside the train and thought it was Camille dancing. Super creepy. Yeah. Oh, that was I it? We didn't get to say anything else? Which is hard when you're practically covered in paint. I better go. Okay. Well, George, back to work. Back to work. All right, we were going this way. What time is it? Do we have a clock? Here's another room. Eliza Sandberger. Called this one Eliza Sandberger. Okay. So these were all Camille's dolls. Okay, and which one's this? Received of Jake Hurley for the price of $3.73. One Krollmeister doll with decorative red ribbon. Um, on this 16th day of June, 1880. Wow. All right, so it has a red ribbon. Eliza Sandberger. Hey, oh. Nancy, oh. right? <laughs> That's right, Nancy Drew. Amateur detective, huh? You never thought about becoming a real detective? A real you detective? Know, like me? Please. Well, I don't know. Do you like what you do? I love it. You uh heard about those bank robberies I solved, right? Tell me about them. Baffling case. Two-man team at 17 banks in three states in five days. FBI had no idea who the perps were. 
But after forcing their vehicle to a stop, confronting them, despite the fact that they were armed and giving chase, <laughs> I single-handedly made the collar. What? <laughs> I heard they stopped because you accidentally rear-ended them. You heard wrong. You heard you wrong. You see, Nancy, when somebody does something really remarkable in this country, the first thing everybody else does is try to tear them down. Reporters, late-night comedians, even some of my fellow officers, all have been spreading vicious lies about me. Why? Because they've never done anything remarkable in their sorry little lives, and they're jealous. Oh. Anyway, you should look around in here. Lots of interesting stuff. This was Jake's private car, you know. Jake's private car. Okay. I understand that you found something on the floor in the dining car. Yeah, at uh, first I thought it was an old coin, but it uh, turned out to be some kind of slug. Do you think it had anything to do with Lori's disappearance? Nah. Probably been lying there for a hundred years. May have served a purpose back then, but now, worthless. May I see it? Sure. In fact, here, keep it. Wear it around your neck or something. <laughs> that way, when oh, people like ask the, you where you got it, found. you can tell them Tino Balducci gave it to you. The Tino <laughs> Balducci. Why does everybody think they're oh, famous? Thank you. What else can I do for you? So, what do you think happened to Lori? She could have been kidnapped, she could have been tossed off the train, she could be hiding from us. But I obviously won't know which until I've gathered all the facts. So, you're gathering facts? Of course. It may of not course. look it because that's a my detective. style. I'm a low-key kind of guy. But hey, don't worry. I'll know the facts when I know the facts. <laughs> the truth can't be rushed, you know. Have you had a chance to talk to Charlena Purcell? I'll know now, the why facts would I want to do when I know like the facts. That? You don't like her? I can't stand those sappy books she writes. And seeing as I said as much during an interview on national TV once, it's a pretty safe bet she doesn't like me. Have you mm. talked to John Gray? <laughs> the ghost guy? Total quack. Only reason I talked to him would be to arrest him for fraud. Oh. You've been a big help. Not a problem. Okay. Periodic table of elements. Well, lead is PB eighty two. I don't know if we need to know any other ones. Camille with Hagar Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. Camille with Hagar oh. <laughs> Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. All right. These are some names. All right. And what do they look like? You have like braids it's hard to tell looks like he has like suspenders or overalls looks like an old-fashioned cigar box wonder why it's locked silver
Well, silver isn't made of colors, so can't open that yet. Gemstones and how to identify them. Amethyst. Tiger's eye. Citrine. do my best drawings of the ones that I don't know. The song is making you weirdly emotional. You're sitting at my desk all choked up. Oh. Zircon Olvine Garnet. Tourmaline looks like a watermelon. It is a very interesting song. Um, aquamarine, emerald, garnet. I feel like I could figure those out. Pie rope. Peridot. Some of these I know. Garnet is your birthstone? Yeah. Some of these I know. Sapphire, Ruby, Zircon. Garnet. Garnet's red. Zircon is yellow. It kind of looks like a seashell. So I started watching the new Pokemon series on Netflix um, with Matt, and I really like it so far. It's fun. You get a little backstory, and I love backstory. Um, leaping Lizards. J.H. For Jake Hurley, obviously. Obviously. Must be Jake's insignia. Oh, he took it. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh. Gemstone. That's the tiger's eye. Why can't we take them? Nancy takes everything. Why can't we take those? An old scale. Strange. It seems to be built into the wall. Scale? Those symbols look like the ones I saw in that sampler. Okay. So now we know which ones we need. So we need Owl, Cherries, Square, Duck, Bell, Eagle, Star, Crown, Horseshoe key. I can't spell horseshoe. Okay. Oh, that square and that duck look very familiar. Yes, they do. You were so upset when you had to do this puzzle without you. You were clicking aimlessly and felt so dumb. This is a hard puzzle. We need more. Yeah, this is a hard puzzle. 
Alright, so now we can go through here. <clears throat> Um, those look like steam pipes. Okay. Great. Nope. Can I stop looking at that? Oh. Uh. Right. What if those are candle all holders, they are very strange. Candle holders? Like a giant Lumiere? Wonder what's supposed to go here? Um, yep. Good question, Nance. Looks like I need to enter eight letters into this thing. The question is, which eight letters? Yep, could be any eight letters. And I have no idea what this is. Hmm. So we can't go through there yet. Okay. Cool. Oh, we got an eight. Silver. What do all those colors oh. have to do with silver? Nancy, you don't know? How could you not know? Orange, blue. Green, red, purple, yellow. All right. Oh, I think I skipped a drawer. Could be so upset about uh, something that befell a doll. I accidentally knocked the one Camille calls Naughty Tina. Naughty Tina. Off the shelf and literally, I'm afraid, fractured its tiny skull. Despite my heartfelt apologies, Camille bursts into tears at the sight of the crack, which now traverses Naughty Tina's face. Tears, something continued, unabated for hours. I told her I'd order her another as, se as soon as we reached Copper Gorge. Oh, she loved her dolls. I would probably cry too. Looks like to make this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Oh, wait. Citrine, amethyst, zircon, those are all gemstones. I thirsty think. nose? Who the heck is thirsty? Okay, so we need a citrine. We need a tourmaline. Um, we need a zircon. We don't need a pyro. Um, uh, amethyst. Peridot. And tiger's eye. Okay. Oh, and we needed a lamp. What did we need? lamp, pickaxe, and a spyglass? Is that what she said? Thirsty nose. Okay. Oh, that's the door we can't go through. Back. Back on through. I need to finish my sandwich before it gets gross. Yeah, I gotta find out the numbers. Those were in John's car. Is that his name? John Gray? 
Yeah. Oh, wait. This. So, Owl is seven. Cherries we already got, but they're ten. Square is four. Duck is one. Bell is twelve. Eagle is two. Star is five. Crown is six. Horseshoe is thirteen. And key is twenty. Okay. Great. We still need something for that. And we need to play that on the piano, probably. But he is doing stuff. Um, oh, and we've been writing notes. The train we're on is going to Copper Gorge. Yep. Dad got me a brand new simple to use camera phone. Oh, we can just use our phone to take pictures? Oh, well that, okay. Good to know. What, no pineapple? Um, Lori disappeared. Find out what happened, especially Tino, who according to Joe may have found a clue. Charlena Purcell is convinced Lori faked it. Um, I weren't a little irritated by the fact that she didn't remember me from Shadow Ranch. Okay, I knew it was the same Charlene and Purcell. The note about Buell found lead is the key. When it comes to opening lead. Yeah. John Gray is as gung ho about recording and analyzing ghostly phenomenon um, as in real life or as on the TV show. The needlepoint sampler includes. Uh, it's supposed to be the train we're on. Some of the symbols associated with numbers. Haunted train rumors. Found a book on samplers. Having only Jake and his engineer for company. Rich detail and no wonder she had nothing but time on her hands. Tino seems to be a lot of bluster and not much else. You get the feeling he knows it and is feeling a little insecure. People like him are liable to do or say anything. Interesting. Jake kept a book on how to identify gemstones. I guess when you're looking for gold, you're liable to find other valuable rocks too. Um, by putting two slugs on the scale, open the door. What else would they open up? Um, Caboose had a sequence of six colors in it. Oh yeah, we have to do that too. And we don't have a checklist because it's senior. Great. Great. Alright, uh, so what do we need to do now? Can we open the duck in the square thing yet? Should we go back? I feel like we should go back. Questions? The others on the train, John Gray and that police detective, do you know them very well? I don't know them at all. Needless to say, I don't watch television, so I've never even seen Mr. Gray before. Although I do know that his profession, if you can call it that, is rife with crackpots. Oh, As for so Mr. judgy. Balducci, from what I've read, his success in solving those robberies was less a matter of talent and more a matter of being in the right place at precisely the right time. In other words, you don't think he deserves all the attention he's getting? No. You and those two Boy Scouts you're with would make better detectives. Is that all, <laughs> dear? I should get going. My publisher thanks you. What have you got? I found a diagram for some kind of contraption that Jake designed, but to operate it you need his pickaxe and some kind of lamp or lantern, which it looks like he gave to somebody named Buell. Buell? Joe, show her! Show her what? That old picture we found! 
Uh, Stop yelling at okay. him, Frank. We found this on the bookshelf. See? Buell's Supplies and Pawn Shop. That's gotta be the same Buell Jake gave his axe and lantern to. Yeah, a hundred years ago. And the guy was a pawnbroker, Frank. The stuff's probably long gone. Or maybe it's still somewhere in Copper Gorge. Well, that's uh, where we're headed. So let's just hope for the best. What are the odds? Right. See you soon. You better. You betcha. <laughs> um, okay. So... Nope. Can we talk to this guy again? Sub. No. Thanks for the chat. Goodbye. Thanks for the chat. Can't play the piano yet. Yeah, we want to go this way. What's going on? Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Don't mention it. Okay. Are we supposed to call someone? Is that... Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's Guess going not? on? Catch you later. Let us know what happens. No email. Okay. <laughs> Great. So, square is four. And all these together equal 18. What if we did... That equals four. But there has to be three. Oh! We got the square! We need another one for the duck, though. So what can we do right now? I don't think we can do anything in here yet. something for the bolts. We still haven't seen any dolls. We still need to figure that out. Questions. I'll let you get back to so. your writing. Let me know if you run across anything juicy. Anything juicy. Engineer. Hi. Is this Mr. Art? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Lori. Yeah. Nice try. <laughs> okay. The pipes are not all connected. We still don't have the deck. So what can we do? Oh, how come we could take it now? Are we supposed to take them? An eagle. Where else have I seen an eagle? In the thing, Nance. Um, okay, so we also saw a gemstone in Tino's room. And here. That's Peridot. 
Nothing else with this. Okay. Was there anything in here? Catch you later. Goodbye. Hi. Bye. Okay. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I did. That's gonna get confusing. Okay. Music. It does seem very emotional. Gemstones. Oh, we can do this now. Orange. Blue. Green. Red. Purple, yellow. Wilson Carbide and Acetylene Works. Dear Jake, I have sent you two, two lamps, which you should receive by the end of the month. When you get them, simply place carbide in the lower chamber. Water? Water in the upper chamber. Then use the built-in flint lighter to ignite the jet of gas which results. As you will see, the carbide lamp is an exceedingly practical device, especially for people in your dark and dangerous line of work. Uh, would that you or I had invented it? Okay. In your last letter, you sounded quite des despondent, old chum. I suppose this is understandable in view of your failure to strike it rich, but I am living proof of how quickly misfortune can turn into good fortune. Little did I suspect five years ago that my attempt to produce aluminum would instead produce calcium carbide, or that calcium carbide, where placed in water, would release acetylene? Yet, suddenly, I was the surprised but happy owner of the patent for an inexpensive way of manufacturing an extremely flammable gas. Just as I became wealthy when I sold that patent, I have no doubt that you too will someday be Always your friend, Thomas Wilson. handsomely, uh, something. Did I miss something? Oh, handsomely rewarded for your efforts. Continue to keep me uh, apprised of your adventures, dear friend, and never ever give up. May the lamps I sent you soon light your way to the gold you seek. Thomas Wilson? Looks like a pattern for some kind of dance step. Maybe I'd better keep this. Right. Can I take a picture of this? Oh, not really. Okay. Great. <laughs> I'm not going to keep that. All right, cool. We did a thing. Oh, we can look back here? Carson's carbide? Oh, 
We just took some carbide. Oh, but the axe is missing. Or, yeah, the pickaxe. <gasps> that could be one of the gems I need. Maybe Tina will let me take a closer look. Okay. Let's ask him. What's going on? Do you think I could take a closer look at that cougar statue? What, that cigar clipper? Uh, go ahead. Let's take a look. Cigar clipper. I'll bet I need this stone to build that thing in the diagram I found. But if I remove it now, Tina will know I'm onto something. Interesting. I just wanted to get a good look at it, that's all. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Not a problem. Okay. Great. Now what? When will it be daytime? When do we go to sleep? You want to play the Leaping Lizards game? I know, me too. Me too. What have you got? See you later. Nothing? Sounds good. Alright, so what are we supposed to do right now? I feel a little lost. Because we still need another slug. More questions? Guess I'll let you get back to your writing. My publisher thanks you. There's nothing in this car except for this, which we still don't have the numbers to. And the only thing in here is John. And I feel like we've already looked at everything in here that we can right now. Um, we still need to open this. We still need to open that. And we still have to play the piano. What's up? Well, I'll catch you later. Take care. Um... We were just in here. We still don't have enough slugs to do more of that. And I don't know if we can... Jake said a pickaxe goes here. Do anything. I need a lamp. If I had a spyglass, I'd put it right here. <laughs> oh, what'd you, Nancy? What you? According to that diagram I found, those six gemstones are supposed to go in these six holders. But I have no idea which one goes where. Right. Starfish. A claw. A fin. Yeah, I got no idea. <laughs> But we have, we have three, and we need six. Well, we know the amethyst. We don't know what goes there yet. What is, oh yeah, we need a, a word and something about this. So we can't move on yet. So what can we do? <laughs> Where's another slug so we can get the duck? Is it like hidden in here somewhere? On the floor? Is 
Does Nancy need to look at this again? What's going on? It's been great talking to you. Helping people is what I'm all about. Okay. Are we supposed to... No, she doesn't say anything. Okay. I need a special tool. Well, it looks like I need a special tool. <laughs> no. All right. We need a special tool. I mean, I don't need to play this again, do I? Really? Shoot. Really? Darn. Probably only need to play it once. But you never know. Oops. Alright. <laughs> Sickly Sarah. There's nothing so, else to look well, at. Well, I'll catch you later. Come back anytime. Where's the hint hotline? Yes, yeah, so there's still another car. Past um, that last door. idea what this would be yet I haven't seen anything like that I don't think And there's really like nothing in this car besides Charlena. More questions? I'll let you get back to your writing. That would be nice. What is she writing though? Did you guys figure out? What have you got? Out? See you soon. Of course not. You know where to find us. You're no help. You're no help at all. <laughs> um, can't go outside until the train stops. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Don't worry, I fix it. <laughs> so, what happens if we call home? This is the Drew residence. Nothing. Please leave a message at the beep. It's Nancy. Just calling to say hi. You don't need to call me back. Bye. All right. Back already? Oh, I see you soon. <laughs> Didn't mean good. to click that. Yeah, so I don't really know what we're supposed to do right now. I don't know what we're missing. Um, so if anyone has an idea or a hint that wouldn't give anything away, I would gladly take it right now.
Get those pipes. Can't look at the hat, can't look at the game. You got nothing, you're heading out. All right, we'll see you later, bug. If I don't see you again, I hope you have a good Father's Day tomorrow. Hopefully it's nice weather. Maybe you could do something fun outside. We've already looked at this. Eliza Sandberger. Where's our other slugs? Where can we find some more slugs? Can we call Bess? I feel like there's gotta be something. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's hmm. going on? Catch you later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we supposed to try to put the gemstones in here yet? Does Nancy want us to try that? It doesn't really do anything. A beak? This is where a gemstone goes. Correct. <laughs> I need to find the gemstone that goes here. Yeah, so we really don't know about that yet. Hmm. Hmm. What would be a word that would go here? We probably just haven't found the clue for yet, that yet either. We have this. We have a dance. Hurley's Whirly Burly. <laughs> Great name. Those look like this is where Jake's pipes. pickaxe goes. Yes. Yes. Great. Yeah, I have no idea what we're supposed to do. I mean, I don't... We haven't found the dolls yet. Awful Ursula. And we can't talk to anyone. That's the weird thing. Is no one will talk to us. What's going on? Thanks for your help. Anything for a fellow detective. Anything for a fellow detective. Can't we just take this now? Are we missing a trigger for something? What happens if we put this back? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter.
Helpful Ursula. We wrote down all our numbers we needed. We still haven't found a tool. I need something that will turn the bolts. Teddy Eberhardt. How did we not see this? Meister. Got nothing else for him. I hope that wasn't like the one thing that we were missing. I doubt it. Pineapple means hospitality. Fun fact. Good luck. Marital fidelity? Hmm. Sup? I won't keep you any longer. Sup? Pleasure talking to you. I'm like weirdly tired today. Like I feel like I could take a nap right now. Maybe it's the music. <laughs> And the atmosphere of the game is just so peaceful. I wish I knew what to do next, though. It's kind of bugging me. More questions? Well, I'll let you go. All right, then. nothing else in here except for this. Do you guys have what anything you yet? Talk to you later. If you need anything, just let us know. Hey, CJ. How's it going? You feel like you could take a nap at all moments? <laughs> yes. I could definitely go for a nap. And I'm not even one to usually nap. I don't usually do it. Come on, hardy boys, give me a hint. Give me a hint. We can't do that yet. Can't check that off yet. Um, we can't. We still need another thing for the duck. Is there anything on the chairs besides the shoes? Any more hidden paintings? Charlena? You're not sure if it's this one, but you remember having to pay attention to floor for notes on the ones you played without me. You were stuck until you found a note or something, but you have no clue. You stepped away for a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to check the floor for, like, any slugs or any kind of note, like you said. Mm. The music in this game makes you sad in a beautiful way. That's what V said. That it was, like, weirdly emotional. But I, I definitely agree. It's, like, beautiful and sad and just, like... Weirdly peaceful, but nice, but creepy. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we're, like, missing something on the floor. <laughs> Twinning. I know there are like things on the floor, like how we saw this, Sickly Sarah. 
Um, but literally so, no one will talk well, to I'll us. I'll catch you later. Pleasure talking to you. <laughs> so, I don't know what we're missing. Can we play the piano yet? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's locked. Yeah, we still can't do anything with that. There's nothing else in here. What do you got for us, Ruth? Help us out. Is there a particular puzzle that you have seen but you don't know how to do it? Um... I don't think so. Because... Well, we've seen puzzles that I don't think we can do yet. Um, I, I would assume we can't do them yet. Like this. I know we need to see these things for numbers, but I don't think we have yet. Um, and a lot of the last, well, not the last car, but the last car that we've seen um, has a bunch of puzzles in it that we haven't been able to solve yet. Should I go that way? Maybe I should go that way. You haven't been here that long, so you're not sure where I am. Fair enough. Have you pulled the emergency brake yet? No, should I? Should I? <laughs> What should we call this? Make it or break it. Better not mess with that. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> it's one of your favorite second chances ever. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done that. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Um. I feel like there wasn't anything. We've already done this puzzle. It was some pipes. I don't think there's anything on the floor in here. Um, we haven't gotten this jewel yet. Because Tino hasn't. What was that? What was that? I heard something weird. That wasn't like in real life, was it? Um, we still need another slug. Why does it keep... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Streamlabs is being weird today and thinks everyone is using foul language. <laughs> what are you doing, CJ? Come on. <laughs> you felt that hit in your core. Hi, Terror! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so we we still need an axe, we still need a lamp, we still need the spyglass. Um, we still need some of the jewels. These are the only three slugs we have so far. So we've, I mean, we've done some stuff. We don't have our checklist because we chose Senior. Darn it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have all the things, and we don't have the clues for these, like which one goes in which yet. Um. Family friendly. <laughs> uh, what is all this foul language? I don't know. 
Yeah, Streamlabs is just on it today, apparently. Dear chat, I will type more professionally from now on. Sincerely. Sin oh my god, I can't talk today. Sincerely, Chicken Journal. <laughs> you should change your name, not gonna lie. Why? I like your name. It's been your name forever. It's family friendly. <laughs> kind of. We don't know that yet. We don't know this yet. This looks like some Avatar Airbender stuff. Yeah, so I feel like we just can't really do anything um, in this car yet. I don't think we missed anything in, in these drawers. We saw this, did that, been there, done that. My eyelashes keep sticking together today. <laughs> you took it to mean, oh shh, quiet. We read about the doll breaking its face. Well, Jake broke its face. So yeah, I don't think, and we know the axe goes there. We can't really do anything in this car yet. You understand things good. That's how I feel all the time. I'm just like, well, I don't understand things good at all. <laughs> You're gonna go with that. It's a good explanation. It makes sense. Uh, I feel like we're just walking around in circles. Can't talk to anyone. Can't do anything. What is this nonsense? What's talk going to us, on? Tino. You've been a big help. Helping people is what I'm all about. Has he been a big help? I don't think he has. I really don't think he has. Yeah, there's got to be some type of trigger we're missing. I just don't know what it is. Um, we can't do this if yet. If I had some music, I could play a tune. Well, Nance, funny thing about that. No, no, no. Darn it. Darn it. You found it? It's with Tino? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do with Tino? <laughs> What do we do? Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. Tino! What do we do? I can't talk to him, though. Am I supposed to... Um... Um... Is it something in his car? In, in here? leave to go out the room towards him oh we can still actually look at this I didn't think we could still look at that on the floor I've already seen this is there something else am I missing something is there something else It's a note. Another note? I'm confused. In here? I don't know where I am. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Imagine if it was like something outside the car. Oh, <laughs> you tried. It's okay. You tried. You tried. There's got to be something else, though, if you're looking. <laughs> There's got to be something else. Um, hmm.
We've already read the story. It's a very sad story. There's really nothing to do in this car. We've already done this puzzle. There's nothing on the floor hidden in the shadows. There's nothing on this side besides that, which we can't do yet. I don't think. <laughs> you are trying. <laughs> um, I feel like there's gotta be something else in this car besides Charlena. More questions? I'll touch bases with you later. Remember, if it's juicy, I want to know about it. If it's juicy. Like, is there anything on the bar? Um, are we missing something on the floor in here? We can't really look at much. We still can't move that because we don't have enough slugs. We've already taken this. What have you These got? These two have See you absolutely soon. nothing. Yep, they're just. They're just there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we just... Are we missing something in here? Is there something? I can't do this yet. I'm busy up here, now quit bothering me. Aw. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing in there yet. There's nothing else in here besides this. I don't know. I am at a loss. I'm at a loss. And nothing in the notes really helps. <laughs> Do you think we could just guess at this? Probably not. I don't even want to try. Um, I swear I've looked in like every room at everything. We still don't have a tool for that yet. I'm pretty sure it's like a very specific tool. I need something that will turn the bolts. Can't open that yet. Nothing on the floor. Nothing else to these pictures. Can't do the piano yet. We saw this. Nothing else on the couch. We've already looked over here like 20 million times. What's up? Well, I'll catch you later. Goodbye. The numbers on the screen are um, of something that measures frame rate or something. Um, this is my boyfriend's computer, and he just has it set up for his games. He plays more, like, competitive shooting games and stuff, so he likes to have them. Um, so they're just kind of, like, on everything on here, and I don't really like to mess with it, so... <laughs> they're just there. Hanging out. Um, yeah, I just, I really don't know what to do here getting annoying. We don't even have the internet this time. Bess won't talk to us. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? I'll Why won't you, you guys give us later. a hint, okay. Bess? Bess? Few pictures. Hmm. I 
I mean, we can't do this yet. It's just weird that no More one's questions. saying anything. Well, I'll let you go. That would be nice. Why can't you do that yet? Wait, what did I say we couldn't do yet? Oops. This. The dancing. Um. I'm pretty sure that has to do with the last car that we haven't been to yet. Are we just supposed to like, is it a timing thing? Wait. Oh, that's just this. I got excited for a second. Hmm. It just really likes this globe. Oh, why can't you get to last car? We don't have the word yet or the passcode yet. Um, we don't have a lot of passcodes, I feel like. I don't know if we should know them. We've already... Yeah, I don't know. We've already read this. Thomas Wilson. gotten some carbide. We can't get this. We can't talk to Tino. What's going on? So You've been weird. a big help. Don't mention it. You should look again. Okay. At the last car? So... We don't have the pickaxe yet. Those look like Jake's steam pickaxe goes here. Um, we already did that. We don't have the lamp. I need a lamp or the spyglass. Jake said a spyglass goes here. Something goes here. Yeah, and so we need a word. Do we know the word? I don't know if we know this word. Lead. Lead is the key. Grease is the word. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Um, Camille doesn't fit. Hurley doesn't fit. Spotsy, is it Spotsy? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if we know this yet. And. We don't know this either. I don't think. Oh, this is one of those. Oh. Okay. I thought it was like a passcode that we had to find. That's stupid.
already forgot. <laughs> That, 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 that. Darn it. Ugh. I already forgot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe he married someone named Elizabeth instead. Maybe he did. He always forgot how to spell it. Oh, I never would have figured that out. Lori? Oh my gosh. I never thought you'd be the one to find me. No offense. Nadine. Uh, Nadine? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Well, as you can see, I wasn't really spirited away by ghosts or anything. Woohoo! Progress! That bookshelf in the dining car, <laughs> you step on this thing in the floor in there, and it, it slides It only took open. like an hour of walking around. for weeks. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> Appreciate it. Was anyone else in on the trick? Just the engineer, and all he did was keep his mouth shut. See, here's the deal. The My dad wound up with this train when he bought out Noram shipping. They'd been storing it in this old warehouse outside St. Louis for so long that everybody had just forgotten about it. Anyway, after like mass begging on my part, Dad had the train restored to working condition and got me an engineer and track permits and all that other stuff until and finally all that other here stuff. we are on our way to find out what happened to Jake Hurley. Why do you need a train to find out what happened to him? Well, see, I was one of the first people in like a hundred years to set foot on this train, okay? okay? Everything was just the way it was when Jake disappeared. Except, I also found this. It's a letter that Jake wrote in 1901 to his niece back east. He was real paranoid about claim jumpers, which is why he never told anyone where his mine was. But he was also afraid something would happen to him and no one would ever know where it was. So he wrote this letter to his only living relative, Ruth Kensington. Here, take it. Ruth Kensington, you want me to she's have the it? picture. Why? Because you found me. See, in that letter, Jake tells Ruth that everything she needs to figure out where his mine is is on this train. He also warns her that his wife's spirit is on the train, too, which kind of creeps me out. <laughs> but the thing is, to find Jake's lost mine, we need the train. Okay. How do you know this Ruth person didn't find the mine decades ago? Mostly because I found that letter in the wastebasket. It was like she'd gotten so ticked off trying to follow her nutty uncle's clues that she finally said to heck with the whole thing. Okay. What about the other people you invited on this trip? If you want to show them that letter, go ahead. It's totally up to you. We're going to Copper Gorge because like that's her where little, Jake buried uh, Camille. So I figured his mine might be somewhere around there too. But if you think we need to go somewhere else, you just let me know and I'll have the engineer take us there. How come you didn't try to find the mine yourself? Maybe I did. <laughs> or maybe I just thought letting other people try to find it would be a good excuse to throw a party. I like parties. <laughs> I like parties. How well do you know your guests? Well, I don't know you or those Harvey guys at all. Harvey Hardy. guys. Frank and Joe Hardy. She's the Whatever. Worst. I didn't know John Gray before this either, but I love his show. And I figured he'd jump at the chance to investigate an honest-to-goodness haunted train. And now that someone has finally found me, I can finally go meet him for real. What about Charlena Purcell? I just know her from her books, which are so good. In fact, I just started the reading her latest tells no one, lies. The Moon Tells No Lies. See, what I'd really, really like to do is write romance novels. Everybody really? who knows me says I'd be really good at it. In fact, a while back, I sent Charlena some ideas, you know, just to see what she thought. And? She hated them. Oh. How well do you know Tino Balducci? I met Tino right after he got famous for solving those robberies. Inviting him here for this was a no-brainer. I mean, what an awesome detective. And those piercing eyes of his? You just know his mind's in there going 90 miles an hour. 
guess I better get to oh. work. Keep me posted. All right then. Locked, naturally. I wonder how you open it. Naturally, it's locked. I wonder how you're supposed to get this open. I don't know, Nance. Oh. I wanna put on my, 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 my buggy shoes. Alright, so... Can we do this yet? Left up one. Uh, right up two. Oh! Alright. Needs to be done all at once. I see how it is. That means I'm gonna draw it. Sorry, guys. It's gonna take a second. So, I need... Three by four. Oh, did I draw this wrong? It's okay. We'll get there. All right, so. One. Two, there's four, there's three, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, oh, geez. Oh, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nailed it. Oh my god. What was that? A tourmaline! Tur tourmaline? We opened it! Guess Camille liked to collect dolls. Goodness. I don't know if we've... How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11. So we have all 11. Okay, great. I don't know what order they need to be in yet. Um, but we got all their names, so that's good. This one is I think Chantilly. This one looks like it would be Yawning Alice, possibly, because she's sleeping. Mama. Oh. Um, I mean, that kind of looks like the ribbon. Uh, 
that was in the drawer, sort of. Red ribbon. Red ribbon. So that's definitely Eliza Sandberger. This one is Hagar Anderson. Oh, this one has the cracked skull. So this one's Naughty Tina. This one's Sickly Sarah. Uh, this one must be Teddy Aberhart. This one's got her hair missing. And she looks really sad about it. I would be too. Um, oh, this one looks like awful Ursula. The one in the drawing. Or not the drawing, but the, um, the needlepoint. Oh, oops. And this one is Sadie Crawford. Yeah. Okay. Go, go back. Okay, so that's still locked. What else can we look at? Um, is this like a word search? I see calico. Oh! Uh, what else? Silver? No. Silverado? Like... Like the car? Or the truck? You love the dolls. You feel like this is a really an unpopular opinion. The dolls... I don't know. I think it's a cool part of the game. I used to actually collect porcelain dolls. Um, but are they kind of creepy? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, do I see any other words? Not really. Not really. City? City. I see city. Do we need to, like, figure this out? Or... Look at that. Just playing their guitar. What's this? I bet I know <gasps> what the this tool. is for. The special tool! Good. Good. Um. Hmm. Nope. I. Is that it? Should yes. We talk to her again. I'll come back later. As soon as you figure it out, let me know. The tool. All right. Well, we can't look at the record player. Um, I don't know if we know what else we need to do with this. I feel like it's not a guessing thing. I feel like we'd actually have to the know. The 3rd of November, 1901, oh. from somewhere in Colorado. Dear Ruth, I know that we've never met, but now that your father, my estranged brother, is gone, you are my only living relative. I am writing to you to tell you about my mind before I, too, depart this earth, and its location is lost forever. I cannot tell you outright where it is, lest this epistle fall into the wrong hands. But with the information which follows, and with my train, which shall be yours upon my death, I promise that you'll be able to find it. First, you will need a map. To obtain it, know that my travels have taken me all over this great country, to towns which can be difficult to find, to Calico, oh. Silverado, and Central City, to Dodge City, Virginia City, and Tombstone. To locate the mine on the map, you'll need my projector. When it comes to placing the stones, you'll need to ask someone who holds a warm place in my heart. I have stored his name accordingly. But to retrieve his name, you'll have to give the dolls an order. This will require looking inside Camille's dancing shoes for the name of their maker, 
and wearing the shoes as you perform her favorite step on the dance floor. Well, we did that. Floor. As for my beloved Camille, she has four words for you. Words which, when translated into numbers and used in combination, will help power my projector. But alas, she's taken them with her to her grave. So go to Copper Gorge, Colorado and pay your respects oh. and let some of her goodness rub off on you. Okay. I promised Camille oh, that this train would always be her home. In return, she promised to never leave, and indeed she never has. People say I'm crazy, but I've seen her and heard her and feel her presence on the train even today, 20 years after her untimely death. So above all else, my dear niece, let nothing happen to my train. Hmm. It holds wonderful things. Kindest regards, Jake Hurley. Interesting. Okay, so... Uh, we did Calico, we did Silverado, Central City. Can we just... Oh. Central City. Here we go. And I think the next one was Dodge City. Virginia City and Tombstone. Oh. Have any tombstones? Go dig. Okay. Nevertsiba. Guess I'm done. Strange. All that's left is a jumble of letters. Okay. <laughs> Your witches, please. <laughs> All right, so let's try putting that. That must be the projector Jake mentioned in his letter to Ruth. In here. Just like in the one we just did, The Secret of the Old Clock, where he just like had built this stuff in his barn. This is just in the train. Jake's mind must be somewhere on this map, but where? But where? I don't know, Nance. We'll have to figure it out. We need some some gemstones still. One, two, three, four. I think we still need two more. And Tino has one of them. So let's uh, save real quick. And now maybe we can talk to people. Let's see. Oh, did we get another slug too? No, we didn't. Well, it's the little lady detective. What do you need? I found Lori. She was hiding in the caboose. I found Lori. Oh, yeah? She disappeared because she wanted to see who'd find her first, which is why she left that clue behind. That slug? I mean, I knew that slug was a clue. That's why I gave it to you. I mean, I could have found Lori no sweat. But I thought, hey, 
want to give somebody else a shot. And you came through. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you. But look, from now on, if you come across anything that may have something to do with Jake hurling his mind, let me know, okay? Just so I can, you know, give you advice, help you sort things out. After all, the opportunity to work side by side with a world famous police detective doesn't come along every day, you know. <laughs> How did you and Lori meet? Right. We met at a party in New York. Nice girl. Not a lot of stairs, but nice girl. She seems to have a thing for your eyes. Yeah, she always told me they were. I mean, she told me once that she thought they were very, uh, you know, brown. <laughs> you know, brown. What do you think happened to Jake Hurley? He probably died trying to work that mine of his all by himself. But I'll let you in on a secret. I'm onto something that could crack this case wide open. What did you find? Sorry, can't go into detail. Let's just say that thanks to yours truly, what happened to Jake Hurley won't be a mystery much longer. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Okay. We made some progress. Let's see what else we can do. Can we talk to you yet? What's up? We can. I found Lori safe We can just tell everyone we found Lori. So I guess those vibes you got about her being in serious trouble were wrong. Strange. My vibes are never wrong. What's even stranger is, I'm still getting them. So maybe they're not about Lori. Maybe they're about you. I'm confused. Are you a scientist or a psychic? I happen to be both. <laughs> What's commonly referred to as psychic phenomena is all a matter of energy. Just because we don't know where that energy is generated or how to measure it, yet, doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Trust me. Either you or Lori is, or soon will be, in big trouble. Could you be more specific? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. No. Take care. Okay. We that have our tool, tool. I saw in the caboose. I bet that's what you use to unscrew these bolts. Oh, they moved the other ones. Of course they do. Why would they not? Oh, good. I love these. Oh, of course. Of course. Hmm. Here we go. Nailed it. Cool. Did that. What else can we do? We don't have that yet. Yes? I yes. found Lori. She's in the caboose. You were right. She nice disappeared typing. because she wanted to see which of us would find her first. And you won. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you know that Lori wants to be a romance novelist? <sighs> Doesn't everyone? I don't think everyone does. Have you discussed any of her ideas with her? No. Could we please talk about something a little more pleasant? <laughs> I should get going. Remember, if it's juicy, I I'll want be to quiet, know Charlena. Nancy, what's with the Cheshire Cat grin? You found Lori. Yep, she's holed up in the yep. caboose. And as a we reward did. for finding her, she let me have this. It's a letter from Jake to his Just niece. Just throw it on the table. Leaves clues telling her how to find his mind. Only the clues are extremely obtuse. You found Lori. You got the letter with all the clues. Guess you don't need us anymore. Oh, Joe, quit pouting. Want any help? Are you kidding? You bet I do. You now betcha. You're talking. 
Oh my goodness, Streamlabs, stop telling people off for using foul language. They're not using foul language. And hello, Pepper Doodle. Thanks for joining. How are you? <laughs> I'm so sorry that Streamlabs is being obnoxious today. It's telling everyone they're using foul language. Balducci wants me to share everything I find out about Jake Hurley with him. I'll bet he does. He just doesn't want you to show him up again. Yeah, he wants you to do all the legwork. I'll have to look into that minute. after the Bam! stream. He can swoop in and grab all the credit. I wouldn't tell him a thing, Nance. Unless it's to get lost. Which is weird because it wasn't happening in any of my other streams, so I don't know. Maybe it's just this one. Maybe it doesn't like this one. It stands to reason that the only person other than Jake who had to have known the location of Jake's mine was the engineer on Jake's train. Very true. Not necessarily. Jake might not have told him the exact location. Maybe he just had him drop him off somewhere nearby. Well, still, we'd be way ahead of the game if we knew where that drop-off point was. If the engineer had any surviving relatives, we may be in luck. The guy died more than a hundred years ago. How are we supposed to find out his name? Maybe Charlena What's-Her-Face could tell us how to go about it. Good idea, Frank. I'll ask her. Good idea. Talk to you later. If you need anything, just let us know. Will do. All right, so More what are we questions. supposed to ask her? How would I go about finding out the name of Jake's train engineer? If you're smart, you'd ask me. Well, that's and what we're doing. because my work is going surprisingly well, during my next break, I'll log on to my archives at home and see what I can turn up. That'd be great. Thank you. Whoever invented the cellular modem, that's whom you should thank, dear. I'll let you get back to your writing. <laughs> okay. My publisher thanks you. All right. Cool. So what else do we need? We need the name of the engineer, which she's gonna find for us. Put the dolls in order. Oh, we need to know, we need to see the name on the shoes. have thrown the emergency brake. Really? Because when we did that, we died. The question is, did somebody throw the brake or something? Oh, Joe, now you sound <laughs> like Lori. Hey, I was the first one on the scene, and I saw no one. What did the engineer say? He said the train could have derailed. He reset the brake, muttered a few choice words, then headed back to the engine just as you and Lori showed up. Oh, I bet Everybody was there except Charlene. Him too. I don't think she left her laptop the whole time. Do you think she could have thrown the brake and snuck back to her laptop without your seeing her? Not likely, but possible, I guess. The question is, why? What did she or anybody else stand to gain by stopping the train? Answer? Nothing. Which is why I think we should at least consider the possibility that something less human in nature may be at work here. Ah, Joe. I'm going to see if Balducci's done dusting for fingerprints. Catch you later. Balducci? Okay. Clickety click click click. Should we see if he's got anything while we're here? What's up? So are you making any progress in here? Oh yeah, not only am I getting some real unusual EMRs, that's electromagnetic readings, but take a look at this. You've got something? I set up a camera and took some time-lapse photos. Sometimes I was in the room, sometimes I wasn't, but somewhere along the line, I managed to get a shot of Camille. Where? How do you know it's Camille? You don't mean that little blob, do you? Yep, that's Camille. Okay. <laughs> You're skeptical. That's cool. Just remember, the key word when it comes to ghostly phenomena is energy. That blob is the result of Camille's residual life force, spirit if you will, reacting with the chemicals in the photographic paper. Couldn't it just be a flaw in the photographic paper? Okay, it could be that too, but it's not. Trust <laughs> but me. It's not. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Okay. Great. Oh, 
glad you dropped in. Lori told me she'd given you a letter from Jake Hurley that says how to find his mine. That's right. You can read it if you want. Lori should have given that to me. I mean, <laughs> I'm the trained professional around here. Let me take a look. Sure. I've seen enough. Two words. Use less. <laughs> Those are just the rantings of a guy who spent way too much of his life swirling mud around in pandering of the hot sun. Five star nut job. Lori says she found this letter in a wastebasket. Exactly where it belongs. <laughs> Did you find any fingerprints on the emergency brake handle? None that were any help. Thanks to Casey Jones up there. I told the old geezer not to touch anything, but he went and got his big, fat, oily paw prints all over the place. If we didn't need him to drive the train, I'd charge him with obstruction of justice. So, you have no idea who threw the brake? Whoa, I didn't say that. As a matter of fact, I found this. Probably fell out of the perp's pocket while he was yanking on the handle. Looks like some kind of thermometer. Yeah, like the kind a certain ghost hunter uses on that bogus show of his. <laughs> you think John Gray threw the break? But maybe why he just he dropped that? it. Because they're thinking about axing his show, that's why. I checked with his buddy of mine in LA. Gray's gotta come up with something real big real soon. Or he's toast. And you can't get much bigger than a train with a spooky past that's prone to strange accidents, now can you? Have you confronted John with your suspicions? All in due time. I always like to get my ducks in a row before I make an arrest. <laughs> but couldn't someone else have dropped that thermometer? Please. Who's the top cop here, huh? Who's the world famous detective? You? I know what I'm doing, sweetheart. <laughs> John Gray wanted publicity. That's exactly what I'm gonna give him. Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Anything for a fellow detective. You're back here to run to the bank and back to work? Well, welcome back. I wish Tina would go away so we can take the amethyst. Um, okay, so we need to... We still need to go this way. How's it all going? Well, um, CJ helped us progress, <laughs> which is great. So we actually have things going on now. So it's going good now. Um, we need to look at the shoes. Darn, the name of the shoes is so faded I can't tell what it is. Hmm, maybe Bess and George can help me figure out who made them. But we can't... Okay. Oh. Send. And then we can call them. Yes? Do you have any idea who threw the emergency brake? I know exactly <laughs> who did it. You know exactly who did it? You do? Well, who else could it be? Camille. None of us has any reason to stop the train, but Camille? She doesn't want us to find Jake's mine, so she's going to do whatever she can to keep its location a secret. Did you see something? Well, no. But I'll tell you what, That's your friend what you that Jim Hurley guy, corn, you not Jim, them. Joe, Joe oh. Hardy. Yeah, well, he thinks it's Camille, too. He just doesn't have the guts to say so. I hear that Tino and you used to be an item. How did you know that? I'm a good We're detective, sassy. remember? We went out a couple of times, sassy yeah. Names. As for why we stopped going out, you'd have to ask him. Guess I'd better get to work. As soon as a you figure it out, tattoo? let me know. Yeah. I love it. I always had um, a dream catcher above my bed growing up. And they're pretty cool. I still can't open this. Darn it. Uh... Oh yeah, we need to call Bess.
Hopefully she got our picture that we sent. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? Oh, we have a lot to Lori say. Lori gave me a letter that Jake Hurley wrote to his niece, telling her how to find his gold mine. If Lori knows where the mine is, why doesn't she just make a beeline for it? Because apparently Jake was too paranoid to tell his niece outright where it was. So he filled the letter with all these weird, obscure clues. I don't think Lori could make heads or tails of them. I know I barely can. Sounds like when he lost his wife, Jake may have lost a few marbles as well. <laughs> Listen, Bess. Just because they're weird clues doesn't mean he was crazy. The name crazy. of the company that made Jake's wife's dancing shoes is too faded to read. But to find Jake's mine, I need to know what it is. Hey, I know what you can do. Take a picture of him with your cell phone, then send it to us. And we we'll did. Them out for you. But I thought we you did. guys had to paint Bess's room. Boring. Besides, we're going to have to take a break soon because we're almost out of paint. Probably because Bess has gotten more on me than <laughs> on the wall. Anyway... Send us a picture of the shoes via cell phone as soon as you can. Actually, I already sent you a picture of the shoes. Well then, hey, we're on it. Ah, oh, you guys are the greatest. I know. Need anything else? <laughs> oh, I discovered this cabinet full we of were old ahead of the dolls game. in the caboose. Old dolls make my skin crawl. Whose were they? They belonged to Jake's wife, Camille. Jake mentioned them in his letter to his niece. They could have been Jake's, you know. I mean, they never had a child of their own, right? So maybe after Camille died, he went a little bonkers. Oh, yes. Hey, I'm <laughs> they just want to him to be crazy box, so okay? bad. Something that wouldn't hurt you. Poor Jake. Time, little Miss No Imagination. You know, maybe I'll just put this paintbrush down, walk out that door, and let you do this all by yourself. <laughs> no, you've got to keep painting. If I don't get this done by tomorrow, I'll be grounded for a month. I was just kidding about your imagination. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. Very. Very wonderful. That's more like it. Such I'll a talk wonderful, to you guys later. clever, beautiful bird. Okay. So they're gonna help us with the shoes. Um. What else can we do? What else can we do? We still didn't get another slug yet. And I know we need more. Um... What's going on? How come you told me you and Lori never went out, and she told me you did? Don't you ever stop <laughs> asking questions? I'm a detective. You know how it is. <sighs> I dumped her, okay? I'm not proud of what I did. I'm not happy about what I did. But it's done. It's over. Now let's drop it. I guess I'll have to go ask Lori. <laughs> if you didn't want to dump her, why did you? You are already done the puzzle in the corner of the caboose you know with the letters. I dumped her because yes, yes, because we have. Because people said going out with her would make me look bad. Said she was a joke. That no one took her seriously. Aww. Said if I started hanging with her, no one would take me seriously. So I Aww. stopped calling. But you didn't stop caring. No. Now take a powder. I don't feel like talking anymore. Take a powder. I want to play the leaping lizard game. What if we just call them back right now? Hello? Me again. Just checking to see whether you were able to find out the name of those dancing shoes yet. Your wish is our command, but hang on to your hat. The name is a real mouthful. The shoes were made by Chaussette Chateauillon, C-H-A-U-S-S-E-T-T-E-S, C-H-A-T-O-Y-A-N-T-E-S. That's French for shimmering socks. Apparently, shimmering you were dancing socks. in the 1870s. That was the company to get your shoes from. Chaussette Chateauillon. Got it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for letting us help. All right. Apparently, Tino and Lori well, we know went what out that's a couple for. of times, but he broke it off. Why'd he break it off? Because everybody told him dating her would hurt his credibility. Oh my 
gosh, that is so cool. It's cool that Balducci <laughs> lets other people tell him who to date? No, that the three of us know something that, like, maybe four other people in the whole country knows. You scoop the tabloids, Nancy. <laughs> Beth, calm down. You're slopping paint all over the phone. Oh, no. It still works, doesn't it? Hello? Nancy? <laughs> you still there? Hello? Yes, Bess. I'm still here. Oh, thank goodness. So what other yummy things have you found Nothing. Out? Absolutely nothing. Remember, when in doubt, call. All right. Well, since we have all the dolls' names, we can figure out the order. But there's there must be two CHs. Chantilly Hildegard. So maybe she's first. Because I don't see another CH. Alright, so if she's number one and then AU Awful Ursula SS Sickly Sarah ET E.T. E.T. phone home. Um, it could be Edna the Terrible. Ursula is always a name given to terrible ladies. <laughs> yes. Where's our nice Ursula? Yeah, right? Sea witches. Awful. They're just not good. They're just not good. T.E. would be Teddy. So that's number five. Um, so SC. SC. Sadie Crawford. Six. HA. Hagar Anderson. TO. Thomasina O'Neill. Y A Yawning Alice N T Naughty Tina and that leaves Eliza Sandberger. Okay. Awesome. So that is this way. I might end soon. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. And I don't want to push it. Um, but I want to do this. So. Chantilly Hildegard. Which I think. Is either this one or this one. So it might be her that's first. Um, two is Awful Ursula. Which is this one. Three is Sickly Sarah. Four is Edna the Terrible, but I don't know what Edna looks like. Um, does any of them look mean? That we don't know who they are. Mama. She doesn't look very mean. She looks kind of mean, but we already know which one that is. They all look mean. <laughs> um, so let's just move on. <laughs> um, so we don't know who four is. Number five is Teddy Eberhardt. And I believe that that is this one because it matches his like kilt. Is that what it's called? Kilt? Five. Six would be Sadie Crawford, um, which is you. Seven is Hagar Anderson. Eight is Thomasina O'Neill, which is a blue shiny ribbon. Um, which I'm thinking might be this one. Possibly. 
So then number nine, Yawning Alice. Ten, Naughty Tina, Fractured Skull. And then eleven, Eliza Sandberger, which is this one. Go. Can you go there? Thanks. Okay, so that's not right, um, which is fine. Blue. Yeah, the, like, blue, it was, like, a bluish purple ribbon. Um, which, I mean, it kind of looks like her hair. Sort of. Sort of. And I know I always get that one wrong whenever I play this game. So that's fine. <laughs> um, unless it's, like, these two that are switched. Is that Chantilly? Or is this one her? These are like the three that I'm not sure of. Mama. She's talking. None of them ever said anything about them talking. Oh, got it. <laughs> I knew just switching them around. Yeah, the blue ribbon you found is holding a lock of shorn hair. Oh, really? I never knew that. I thought that just like, I don't know. Oh, we got some slugs. Uh, this kind of looks like Mary Poppins. The scene from, from Mary Poppins. Why, why can we look at that? Why is that? important? I don't know. But we did some things. Do we need to do anything else in here? Should we talk Before to you? Before you say anything, I just want to say thank you. The doll with the you. missing hair. Oh, what? okay. Tino came that to makes see sense. me. He said you'd made him realize what a jerk he'd been for dumping me, and then he asked me out. Isn't that great? He said he doesn't care what anybody else thinks. He thinks we make the perfect couple. Well, I can't argue with him there. <laughs> so what do you want? Nothing. I guess I better get to work. Nothing. You go, girl. You go, Glen Coco. Okay. So we have more slugs. Can we open the duck square? The square duck. We need... One and four. I was never good at this puzzle either. Okay. Oh, there's too many. Okay. So how do we get four? how we got it. Uh. There we go. And then what was the duck? One. Wait, the square went away. Why did the square go away? Why did the square go away? We got the duck. Oh no. <gasps> uh, no. the square stay.
You have to keep at least three slugs on the scales in order to not lose the square. Okay. But there's still three on there. Hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I never understood this puzzle. I just kind of... Got it by luck, really. Plus three. There's the plus one. It's just too many. Um. There. Oh, With any luck, thank I just goodness. opened the stove in the dining car. Thank goodness. <laughs> It is a number thing. It's just a weird number thing. Okay, how do I go away now? Okay. So let's... Let's save it real quick. Oh, I always do that. Every time. Every time. Do... Let's go all the way to the square duck. <gasps> what is that? It's Camille. Duh. Duh. Thanks for streaming when we feel better. Thank you. Yeah, every time I like want to stop, I'm just like, but I want to figure. I want to. I want to know Thirsty. More. Thirsty. The sum of nine dollars a week plus room and board in return for his services as the engineer. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that is actually a really good place to stop. Um, oh, I'm going to write down that. Ooh! Dropping things. Uh, I'm going to write down the date, too, just in case. Just in case. You never know. All right. <laughs> no, this is definitely a good spot. Um, I have to do some cleaning anyway but no I'm, I'm really glad we got to at least start this one even though there was a bit of a frustrating part not knowing how to progress but that's you know that's what you get with these games um but thanks so much everyone for for joining lurking hanging out whatever you were doing um i'm just gonna save this Um, and I hope you all have a good rest of your weekend, rest of your Saturday. Feel better things. Yeah, I'll probably take some, some type of medication for it <laughs> as soon as we, um, end stream. But thank you so much. And hopefully we can go further with this one or maybe even finish, um, next weekend. And I hope... Um, everyone who's celebrating has a good Father's Day tomorrow, and hopefully it's nice for it. But yeah, thank you all for coming. Trains, good luck with your cleaning, thank you. <laughs> I'll need it. It's not fun. Alright, well I'm gonna end it there. Bye guys, thanks so much for coming. See ya!